Let's continue with the Lee Carter model for part 2. For here, let's say let ln xt, this one is equals to log m xt. So we can see that m xt this is equals to exponentials of lm xt from the previous video we know that log of m xt here this is equals to alpha x plus beta x kt plus error xt which this one we can ignore and we also know that kt plus 1 is equals to kt plus wave c plus wave sigma k zt so we are going to use what we have here for this one then we are going to have lm xt this one is actually equals to alpha x plus beta x kt which is also equals to alpha x plus beta x and kt is replaced by this similar uh, equation so from here we are going to get this is kt minus 1 plus with constant plus with sigma k zt the key to the model is the separations of the h effects the time series of the kt introduce random year effects and the factor bx allow the year effects to have impact on h so here we have our kt here this one it gives the it represents the random year effects and we know that beta x is affecting uh, the h so as h changes the uh, bet as beta x changes for the value of beta x will change for different ages when we times the beta x and kt it's allow the year effects to have impact on h for the model to work we have to apply a few constraints Let's assume, suppose that the model will cover from ages x0 to x omega and from the, this one is ages and for the calendar year, it will cover from t0 to tn so, I'll put here as constraints the first constraint that we have is summations of all of the ages for the beta x it shall be equals to 1 and the second constraint would be the summations of all of the kt this is from t equals to 0 t0 to tn kt it shall be equals to 0 so from here we can see that let's write it somewhere here so from here we can see that if we sum all of the LMXT T 
equals to t0 up until tn lm xt here we can say this shall be equals to this one we get it from here from here this lm xt which is equals to this okay so for here we are going to have the lm xt equals to here we have tn minus t0 alpha x plus beta x summations of t t0 to tn kt here we have tn to t0 because you are going to add up uh, alpha x from t0 up until n so here we have n terms if we have n terms if we have more and more and so on okay so from here we can say that if this one times this one summations of all of this becoming zero this one becoming zero so we are going to have alpha x we can say alpha x equals to summations from t equals to t0 up until tn lm xt over tn minus n t0 for here this alpha x represents the average of the log central death rates for each x over the period of the data the average The estimations process for this alpha x is actually very complicated so we are going to leave it just as per it is so when you use your the programming language R to program the Lee Carter model this one is already built in so you are going to have a certain patterns of graphs for alpha x beta x and kt so what does the graphical data represents okay so let's look at here if your kt here kt against time here so let's say it starts from negative 4 0 4 so we have some value of decreasing kt this decreasing kt shows that the improvement in the mortality rate over time decreasing trend of kt shows that improvement of mortality rate over time for example let's see Qx in the year of 1997 this one is 0 0.05 and you are going to Qx in 2000 you are going to get 0 0.045 this is just examples okay and the next one is the decreasing or uh, the patterns for beta okay alpha x is just uh, we can see that it is more like a 
constants for the specific ages so where the starts of the specific ages where we see that as an intercepts if we have a linear regression it's like uh, something like the intercepts okay now we look at the beta x again ages x so let's say it is from young until older maybe 40 60 80 you are going to have more value in between yeah so this one is just like uh, small representations of the is for ease of uh, drawing so let's say you are going to have something uh, decreasing patterns as well this decreasing trends also shows that uh, the younger age gained more benefits in comparison to the older age okay For examples, uh, mortality improved more for HX in comparison to H, X plus 5, X plus 10. So we can see that QX in 1997 maybe equals to 0 0.05, QX in 2000 maybe equals to 0 0.045, and we can also say that this one QX plus 5 or plus 10, 1997 maybe equals to 0 0.06, and QX plus 5 in 2000 maybe equals to 0 0.057 it is improving but the uh, rate of improving is lesser in comparison to younger age okay that's it for the Likata model we are going to continue with some examples in the next video thank you